What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here and welcome to a new type of video for the channel where I will be reviewing the free for a short time assets off of Fab. Every two weeks Fab offers three different asset packs free of charge and whether you're a budding game developer or a 3D artist or someone who's just after some free assets, these are worth checking out. So in this video, I'm going to give you a brief rundown of what's included in the packs, as well as a review of what's in there. But as per usual, if you like what we do here at Pitchfork Academy, the number one way you can support the channel is by picking up our new game, Skyblocker, which we've just released on Steam. It's a 3D arcade puzzle game where you stack blocks as high as you can while battling the elements and gravity to try and get a high score. We're very, very proud of it. We think it's a great little game and it's just $10. But without further ado, let's take a look at these assets. Alrighty guys, so as you can see here, these are the three free asset packs for this Fortnite. They're only available until May the 6th, so add them to your library now. You don't even have to download them, just add them to your library and then you'll have access to them forever. And it's worth noting that I did notice that uh, you can choose the professional license free of charge, which you never know if your game takes off and you make a lot of sales, it'd be good to have that professional license. We've got this 1850s post office environment by Just B Studios, the G2 Mercenaries by Quang Fan, and the Cinecam by Pulsar Bytes, and the link to this page is in the description. So let's jump in and have a look at the 1850s post office environment. I added this asset pack to a base project and cracked open the demo level. And while the demo level does look great, I got a couple of warnings straight off the bat about project settings. Uh, that's obviously just the settings of the project I migrated the assets into. And also that the landscape needed rebuilding. And as you can see here, uh, some of the textures are not loading properly. I don't know what the deal is there. I wasn't able to figure it out. But as you can see here, the assets and the textures and materials that did load properly do look pretty great. So even despite the technical issues with this demo level, it is a pretty stunning environment and it does seem to perform pretty well uh, considering how heavy the scene is with lots of different assets and up to, I believe, 4K textures. It's giving me kind of a hunt showdown vibe and I do think it's pretty cool. I do think there is quite a lot of value here. You've also got this showcase level that shows off uh, a few of the assets. I don't believe all of the assets are in here. I think there's more than this in there, but it gives you a good idea of what sort of assets and of what quality is included. 1850s post office environment medieval abandoned village by just b studios boasts the features of 262 unique meshes triple uh, a quality controllable parameters and material instances game ready and optimized with high attention to detail Okay, so next up we have the G2 Mercenaries pack by Quang Fan. It boasts features such as 85 blend shapes for lip sync and expression. Uh, these characters are rigged with the UE4 mannequin skeleton. Easy swapping of assets such as hair and hats between male and female characters. And blending of colors and textures on materials, as well as makeup for the face, hair, eyes, and lips. These assets are cloth physics set up ready and rigged to the epic skeleton with IK bones included. It includes a couple of basic locomotion animations and these characters are ranging from 20,000 up to 50,000 vertices with 40 textures ranging anywhere from 2K to 4K. I opened up the demo level and straight off the bat, I do have a couple of issues with it. First of which being that it is just a little bit too dark to properly showcase these assets. And I was also unable to play with the character as it says here, click play to begin, because the character blueprint did not recognize any of the input actions. 
and although the character blueprint had a camera and a camera boom, it was invisible in the viewport and I wasn't able to possess it properly. I don't know if this has to do with the version of the engine I opened up this project in, but I was still able to have a look at quite a few of the assets and they do look pretty cool, these kind of cyberpunk style mercenaries with a lot of modularity to them including FPS arms where the hands are separate and FPS arms where the hands are connected to the arms. And these assets do look of decent quality. I also checked out these basic locomotion animations that are included in the pack. There was some problems with the preview meshes, but I reset all of the preview meshes of these animations and dragged them out to have a look. And there's nothing really crazy special to note here, just some basic locomotion assets. All in all, I do think these characters look pretty good, and if this kind of style is something that you're after for your project, I recommend grabbing these assets while they're available for free. And last but certainly not least, we have the Cinecam by Pulsar Bytes, which boasts features such as Walk Fly Mode, Movement Speed Control, Automatic Walk Fly, Focal Length Control, Zoom Speed Control, automatic zoom in and out, aperture control, focus distance control, different focus modes, camera height control, orbit mode, lock on target mode, free look mode, and customizable key bindings. Now I dropped this asset into my 1850s post office environment project and had a little play with this camera, possessed the camera, and found that it had key bindings to control the focal length and the focus distance, for example. And as I said, you can customize these key mappings. You can also shift F1 to get your cursor back and change any of these settings. But very quickly, what I noticed is that this camera is very, very smooth to control, and I could see a great number of applications for this, especially when creating cinematics. This pawn or character blueprint does seem to be very well put together and would have a great many uses. So I actually think that this asset pack is the highlight of this Fortnite's free assets from Fab. And that's about it for today, guys. If you found this video to be any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.